Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that's Delph Delph Chanel for the Eighth World and we're here with another video. Yes, we're talking about all of the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, past, present, and future. Y'all, they kind of upset from what I hear from reading on Hollywood Life that, well they ain't really upset, but we know Portia's not coming back for various reasons. We know Cynthia's not coming back because they don't want her back, really. And she didn't really want to accept the friend, um, what do you call it, a friend part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I'm like, Cynthia, girl, you should have just took the friend part because if you're considering coming back in some other form, thinking you're going to hold out to for hope that they'll bring you back, for season 15, 16, whatever. Or you feel like you want to make cameo appearances. Why you just didn't be your friend? And then you know you're going to be in certain scenes, certain episodes. And you could have just got contractual pay for that. But girl, thanks to you, Cynthia. They just really wanted to get you out the door. And pretty much that's where you're going to pretty much stay. Unless somebody didn't really have anybody to film with. And they still have your number. And they'd be like, okay, well, you can film with her. All right. But Cynthia just needs to go on up there. Stay. Make her permanent residence in Los Angeles. And be done with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because it was a good run. It was a good run, Cynthia. But we need a new breed. Okay. We need it on and popping. Like when Kim and Nene were friends. Then they were foes. Then they was foes. Then they was foes. Then they was friends again. And we need people like Kenya. Having someone to fuss with. Argue with. Look pretty with. Okay. You remember her? The Three Musketeers, Candy, Cynthia, and, of course, Kenya. Yes, Kenya can't fight with Candy. Uh, well, I mean, she could, but that would kind of be against the point or beside the point because she needs some allies, too. And Candy and Cynthia were very in instrumental in bringing her back on. But we need some stuff, and that would have been some good stuff stuff for Shamia to be brought on as a peach holder and she could dish the dirt on none other than Portia Mess okay and shout out to Layla Lynn y'all don't know who she is she's another well uh respected and very big YouTube blogger go check her channel out since I used her picture I have to shout her out yes okay and I watched some of her stories she has good dialogue but Candor I'm trying to figure out what Candy ever brought to the situation. Except for when Phaedra was involved. And, you know, uh, with the whole thing with the dungeon thing. And then Apollo and Kenya and Phaedra and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, they had made some good scenes back in the day. Yes. Okay, that's Layla Lynn again. Go check her out. Using one of her photos. Uh, Y'all remember that whole thing? When Candy was so upset because somebody was lying on her saying she was trying to uh, drug up Portia so Todd and her could have their way with her. And then, you know, Portia gave us some good stuff too with the Dennis run with uh, him being a playboy out there and him messing around her, on her when she was pregnant. And, you know, Portia was giving it to us. She was giving us the good good, you know, the ratchet TV-ness that we needed. And she was fighting, remember her and Kenya? And that pulling of the hair. And then she got into it with some other woman. Somebody's assistant. She tried to attack in an alley somewhere. I mean they have been giving it to us. But if you're not going to give it to us like Kim and Nene. You're going to be bystanders. Okay. Like Sheree. Uh, Deshaun Snow. And um, what's her name? Kim, what's her name? Lisa Wu. And that's why. I mean all things work together for our good. All right. I'm telling you, Romans 8 and 28, everybody can't stay on these ratchet TV shows. It's called Make Your Money and Move On. And Cynthia needs to move on. Lord, no, she didn't give us nothing. I'm right, I'm right with Prince. She didn't give us nothing. No time. Except when she kicked Portia in the vagina area because she got tired of her. And that's pretty much all that she gave us. Because the rest, Peter took over. He was the, 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 what do you call it? 
the showstopper when they were married. And I was just trying to figure out how we had kept Cynthia on for so long because she really didn't give us anything. I was like, shoot, Tanya was more interesting than uh, Cynthia and a little bit of Sheree with her joggers. Uh, no joggers, I should say. And no apparel in her She by Sheree line. And Lord, it took a long time for her to get the Chateau Sheree together. Okay. And then Drew Sador is going to be a past situation too. Because she's not bringing anything. I mean, we already got Todd sitting up there spending candy money. And making business adventures that are not coming to any type of lucrativeness because if it was so Todd would be putting it out on his Instagram account he'll be tooting his own horn and you know the money just be rolling he'll be getting his buddies together they be out partying the streets and he, he, you know he don't know how to sit down somewhere and stay out the line like he don't know how to do that so we would expect for you know, for Todd have done something, but evidently he ain't did, did nothing overwhelming enough to have it in the spotlight. And see, even Portia gave us a headline stealing Fallon's husband. Okay, now, of course, I don't know, she a little shy to the camera. She don't want to face up to what was said about her. You know, she's trying to play, you know, both fences, but she don't want to be in that heat right now, which I don't know why. She throw out the heat. In somebody else's kitchen, Nancy and hers, and she can't stand it, so she's shying away. But we sure we're gonna get some news on that. I'm sure we're gonna get some news. But um, Kenya was like, "Okay, she gone," and we got Marlo. So I guess I can force. Oh, excuse me. First with Marlo, or join forces with her to get uh, Drew Sedora out the door, cause she's just wasting time. I do believe. Uh, she's going to be maybe another Cynthia. Not really going to give us anything. And shout out to the Jasmine brand. Y'all don't know who she is. She's another heavy hitter in the blogging community of uh, entertainment celebrity news. Go check her out. Um, tell Deb Chanel for this world sent on to y'all on over there. If y'all don't know about it. But I'm sure if y'all like videos and y'all like, uh, you know, Trying to see what the celebrities are doing and keeping up with. I'm sure you know Layla Lynn as well as the Jasmine brand. But, um, yeah. I mean, we're going to get to see Marlo. And I hope, hopefully, she's going to bring it. She's going to show us some of her Caucasian fellas she goes around with. Uh, I don't know what Sheree would even try to attempt to bring us. It's, it's like whole show of the Real Housewives of Atlanta need to just take a hiatus for a season and come back with some fresh new faces because Cynthia was a long running stand and she really didn't give us anything really she didn't as far as drama wise except for when she was with Peter now I can say when Peter was on the show Peter Peter Parker Eater okay had so many wives he couldn't keep none of them Hi, oh, that was some golden years. And with Nene being thrown in the mix, calling him an itch, whoop, that was just pure priceless. Okay, and the ratings were really high then. But with Portia leaving and not uh, giving us or leaving us with anything, a sufficiency of Kenya being able to do something with the scandal that's all around her now. Uh, I don't see how they're going to survive with Drew Sador. I mean, what is she giving us? You know, we don't want to see her mother cut up, you know, her seasoned mother. We, we, we really don't want to see her husband cut up because it kind of makes her look bad. But we got that Sanya coming in. I don't know what she's going to really give us. The commentator, uh, sports commentator slash ex-Olympian. I don't know. I don't. It's kind of seems like it's gonna be a boring thing. And with Sheree coming back, I'm like, she's supposed to be bringing a convincing Akon's wife. Now I heard down in these YouTube streets that Sheree was the driving force for. Akon's wife or one of his wives because they say he got a lot of wives. I don't know how true that is. Fact checkers, look it up. But they say he got a lot of wives out there. But this particular one is supposed to be testing with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we should be seeing her on season 14. And that's just, I don't know how true that is. But that would be priceless. 
especially with him just being in social media saying rich people have more problems than poor people. <laughs> like, problems are problems. It don't matter if it's on a higher end or a lower end. When you got issues, you got issues, okay? Like they do say the old adage, more money, more problems. You're just in a bigger bracket of higher expenses. But expenses are the same either way, depending on your lifestyle. Will break you or make you. So if you're living above your means, if you're like the creme de la creme, you're making a six to eight figure salary and you're still making over, I mean, spending over that, such as Kim Zoziak, you're going to find yourself in some financial problems, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're on a poor scale or the richer scale, problems are still problems, all right? But, I mean, Nene and Kim, girl, buy wig and, and all that stuff she used to do talking about how she used to talk to sweetie her housekeeper friend i don't know um uh, babysitter then he used to be on that ass with kim the scooter when she was telling kim about her scooter child that was that was too much that was that's that's it was too good but i think they meant to put a picture of kenya not Portia, because Portia didn't really try to fool with Apollo or anything. She thought he was a nice piece to look at, you know, which he is. Don't get me wrong. He is a nice piece to look at. But it was really Kenya flirting with Apollo, and Phaedra was having some kind of feelings. But that would be gold if Phaedra could come back and basically straighten Candy out or Candy straighten Phaedra out. And the ratings will blow up. I don't know what Ken is scared of. Because, I mean, it's really water over the bridge or under the bridge. Because she don't make her money off this dungeon, sex dungeon thing, tryst or whatever. And Portia don't move. Don't seem like she's in a better space with Portia now. This is just, I'm gathering, you know. But, uh, it just is what it is. But we're going to go on. And get into a story that Hollywood Life had brought out. One of their writers was um, Eric Tadisco Tis or something like that. And Lene Brada, Brody, Brody uh, wrote up an article on Today. And they titled it, How the Real Housewives Cast Feel About Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams' Departures Ahead of Season 14. Okay. Well, they show brought in uh, Miss Ross, Richards Ross. Okay. So, she was one to fill in for those two, which they got two more people they can bring in because there was some good salaries that Portia gave up as well as Cynthia didn't want to give it up. I'm sure she was holding on to it. Excuse me. As tight as she could, but honey, they unloosen they unloosen that peach from her hands, honey. <laughs> they unloosed that grip she had and they just went on and gave it away to Miss Richard Sands or Sanya Richards Ross or something like that. And they got two more people they bringing it in. So I'm like, Cynthia, just give up. How to say give up the ghost? Just give it up, Cynthia. Go do something. Even though they're saying Cynthia's not saying goodbye totally. I'm like, please say goodbye. Please go out. You know, I ain't going to say be put out the pasture. But just go do other stuff. You got like, this is the only gig you got. And it might be, y'all. It might be her only gig. And if so, I feel sorry for her. Because she could. She done been on here so many seasons. She definitely should have a plethora of funds somewhere where she can just go sit down and retire or uh, get her modeling thing because she always up in the uh on social media taking pictures of herself okay too thirsty but anyway going back to the article it says following cynthia bailey and portia williams exits from the real housewives of atlanta a source close to production dished on how the remaining cast members kenya moore fallon gubadia candy birds and drew Sador, Feel about this. Um, feel about this major cast shakeup. All of the ladies are going to miss Cynthia. They said they gonna miss Miss Cynthia. Um, this is what the exclusive source said, or they told Hollywood Life on October second. She's a staple on the show, and they all have respect for her as an OG. 
Meanwhile, Porsche's departure ahead of the upcoming season of 14 has not saddened all of her ex-nemesis, or particularly her ex-nemesis, Kenya Moore. Most will miss Porsche too. Anyway, or any more, uh, let's see, it says Kenya Moore, most will miss Portia too, but the only one she has a real friendship with anymore was Candy. Our sources explain Kenya is not losing sleep over her departure, which we all know she wouldn't lose sleep. Okay, she's just trying to think of who's going to be her next target, but if Portia came back, she'll be open uh, we got have, having her come back with open arms and be locked and loaded and ready to spray all she can get on Portia. Okay, and then she'd be having, you know, she'd be done had it so built up, it'd be like every time they be in the room together, Kenya would get her digs in on uh, poor Portia. Okay, but anyway, going back to the uh, article, it said, um. Uh, Portia's departure ahead of the upcoming season 14 has not saddened all of her ex-cast members, especially Kenya Moore, okay? But anyway, uh, Kenya says she won't be losing any sleep over her departure. That's for sure, but she's a professional and she can work with her if need be, okay? So, see, Kenya's open to letting her come back because... Kenya needs that to feed on. <laughs> she needs that energy. Because everybody's agreeing with Cynthia. I mean, not Cynthia. Everybody's agreeing with Kenya. And being on her side, it, it wouldn't make sense for Kenya to be there. Because she's there to twirl, get her tornado winds up, and twirl and, t and make damage happen. Okay? Casualties. She needs bodies. Okay? She needs someone to pin against. She needs somebody to attack on the regular. And if there's nobody there... Why do we need Kenya? Okay. We wouldn't. Okay. Because it's nobody for her to spar with. We're going back to the article. It says losing Cynthia 54 and Portia 40 will mark a whole new era for Real Housewives of Atlanta once the Lone Time series comes back on air. Cynthia has been on the show since season three, while Portia has been giving viewers plenty of drama since she joined the cast in season five. Now, see, that's the difference between the explanation of Cynthia and the explanation of Portia. One, they just said that she was just on the show. The other one said she had been giving us drama. You see what I'm saying? Drama filled scenes. That's what we need. That's what Real Housewives of Atlanta needs to rebirth if they're going to ever survive. Because right now they are on flatline life support as we speak. But that was just my pun, not in the article. Going back, it says. Both of the two longtime stars, one of them hasn't completely ruled out popping up on the air or popping up on the hit series again. Thank you. And that is Cynthia we're speaking of because she wants that money. She needs that money. She didn't want to be let go. That was Bravo pushing her out the door. They were doing it very kindly, but, you know, Cynthia just don't get the hint. All right, and Mike probably told her, don't be beg nobody for no position, especially when they want to bench you half the time. Girl, please, let them folk go. But she was like, mm-mm, I need this money. I need this money. I can't be depending. You know, just probably having them talk behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? That's just why I can see it going. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, Cynthia is open to making a guest appearance this season, and she's not saying goodbye to Bravo. I was sort of said, she's just hanging up. Her housewives of Atlanta hat for now. Portia's talking like she's completely done. But Cynthia is open to returning again in the future. As for Candy, Kenya, and the rest of season 13 cast members, they actually haven't officially been asked to return to the series yet. Our source said. In fact, the season 14 cast is still being finalized by Bravo producers. They are still casting for next season. They're supposed to start filming later this month, the source told. Well, from what I understand, you know, from just looking at several, um, what do you call it? Uh, several of the ladies, Mini Kenya and Candy, going on talk shows, um, uh, uh, hosted by other people like The View, Wendy Williams, and all of their outlets. Um, they've been pretty much saying they, they got their letter. They coming back. So I don't know what this is really telling us in Hollywood life. 
uh, but I guess they would know or their sources is telling them that and they're putting it out there but we don't never really know we only go with what they say then cash shake up could be something else producer be don't sign up on something else it's just they use us pretty much to just keep the word out there and the buzz going but we really don't know until we see them taping and then you be like oh, okay they got saved or whatever but it is what it is going back to the article it says as would be expected real housewives of atlanta producers are apparently searching for some fresh faces to add to the show and fill the voice of cynthia and portia our source didn't share the exact identities of the possible or potential newbies, but they did mention that a professional basketball player is in the mix. They were talking to someone from the WNBA about joining the cast. Two, they were they want different ladies with a different vibe, the source said. And that was the conclusion of that article. I said, boy, Bravo is somewhere and everywhere and nowhere with this cast because if they really wanted to do something they would just x out everybody don't bring nobody back because if they can't bring phaser back i don't want nobody to come back i want to see fresh new faces you can have a music uh person that's in the music business you can have a person that's uh do producing uh you know acts or whatever uh, you could be somebody could be in uh, market managing, you know, something. Give us something, a uh, uh, architectural type person. I'm a zoologist. Oh, say just anything. You know what I'm saying? Other than this mess we that we done been holding on to for the longest. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Prince too. Lord have mercy. Can we have a new venue? Can we have some new shake up here? Cause we don't need Candy. Don't made her money. Lord knows she don't made her money. If Juice door don't give us nothing, she need to go to. And Marlo going to be on the chopping block as well as she tends to not give us what she been giving us in the past. And that's drama, you know. She been giving her drama along with Kenya. Um, Kenya's doing an excellent job. She plays her position well. We need to keep her. Um, mm, I just don't know who else. But I know Candy need to go if... if, if Portia went, even though she went on her own recognizance, because she didn't want to take the heat, which I thought Portia was built for. She could have fought all them women with her mouth. She could have did that and just said, don't matter what y'all say. What they say, um, what that thing say? Um, words don't hurt me. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Stick, throw the sticks and the stones. Just as long as you don't hit me, it won't be no problem. That's all she could have said. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. And just got with whoever said whatever and, and whatever. And she could have bought us receipts showing that the marriage was completely over. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it could have been some due diligence. But you know, Kenya, you know she would have went out there and she would have found some stuff. Because if she bought Tanya Sam's lady, the cookie lady, <laughs> you know Kenya would have been out there finding something. So, I don't know. I don't know what Sheree going to bring either. We just should have left her where we where she needed to be left. But maybe she was, like I said, if they get Akon, one of his wives, to come on the show, that would be very interesting. But she might just be taking over Sheree's spot. So, I'm like, is Sheree supposed to be the little gopher or the recruiter to go out there and find people? I don't know. Because we, we sure need something better than what we've been got. We, we've been had in the, in the past. Because, I'm, I'm, well, we got rid of Cynthia finally. Uh, we should have left Sheree where she was. Portia was a toss-up. And again, she might. The thing don't work out with her assignment. She may come running back to the fold. And I'm pretty sure she left on good terms. I guess they just didn't want to get her no money. She's like, okay, whatever. Nene's supposed to have a little guest shot here and there. Uh, coupling up with Marlo Hampton. Uh, let me see, Sheree. I, I, like I said, I don't know what Sheree, Sheree going to bring us. We need to really just rethink that thing well maybe she just on a, a, a one contract just for season 14 but uh yeah we need some fresh new faces we need to forget about all these uh what do you call it ogs because we put candy with the ogs too uh can't, we might have a couple of more seasons with kenya so we could find somebody to replace her with her wit you know what i'm saying her beauty her wit her charm and her assassination type stuff she, she gives out you know she got to be that little assassin out there 
got to be ready to take people out at will. You know what I'm saying? So until we can find somebody, uh, Kenya can uh, roll on up there. And I would love to see Portia come back. I really would. But she need to come back with some explanation of why she left in the first place. But y'all, that's all I got on this uh, little thing. And I can't believe those two. I believe those two are going to be fighting uh, with the words, not the hands. But they're going to be fighting. Because they ain't going to have nobody. If they don't tear up Drew Redo Excuse me. If they don't get rid of Drew Sedora or, or have her hemmed up somewhere and, and, and getting on her, I don't know what they could possibly bring. Because Tanya got the hell on. She said, uh-uh. She got a life beyond this ratchet reality show. That's why I kind of feel like, I don't know, Sanya is going to hold on uh, real tough, real close. Because it's about ratchetness. And they seem like they got too much about their business. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know about this WNBA woman coming in either. Because, like, they got some stuff going on with their business. They got some business about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because Phaedra, she couldn't win a case or didn't win so many cases being a lawyer. But she was excellent with her deliverance of shading people. She had a knack for that. But um, we don't need no more uh, people to just be on the bench or come out when we just need things to be settled down. Because uh, I wasn't feeling, you know, who going to check me, boo? That was pretty much it. But, you know, Phaedra, Southern Bell, she had some quick wit with her her actions, especially when it came to uh, uh, Candy as well as uh, Kenya. Yes, yeah, she used to, ooh, she told Kenya up half the time. But it just is what it is. But that's all I have for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Please don't hesitate but to share my videos, like my videos, and definitely subscribe. And I will see y'all next video. Bye.